Split cycle engines separate the four strokes of intake, compression, power, and exhaust into two separate but paired cylinders. Many configurations have been developed, but none have ever matched the efficiency of conventional engines. Split cycle engines have had two major problems, breathing and thermal efficiency. The breathing problem was caused by high pressure gas trapped in the compression cylinder. The low thermal efficiency resulted from compressing the gas twice. The Scuderi split cycle engine solves both problems with two unique and patented concepts. The Scuderi group adapted a disc valve design to handle both the inlet and outlet valves of the compression cylinder, resulting in virtually all of the trapped gas being removed. Possibly the single most important breakthrough of the Scuderi design is firing after top dead center. Although normally considered bad practice, in a split cycle arrangement, firing after top dead center eliminates the losses created by recompressing the gas. The big problem was really how to fire after top dead center. In the Scuderi engine, this is accomplished by using a combination of high pressure air in the transfer passage and high turbulence in the power cylinder. The result is a split cycle engine with better efficiency and greater performance than a conventional engine. One of the biggest advantages of a split cycle engine is design flexibility. Many features that require added equipment or are simply difficult to do in a conventional design are easily accomplished in a split cycle configuration. For example, supercharging can be done simply by increasing the size of the compression cylinder. The Miller effect can be achieved simply by increasing the length of the power cylinder. Reducing piston friction can be accomplished by offsetting the cylinders. And a simple and cost-effective air hybrid design accomplished by adding